Well, good day. Who do I have in the studio with me? Hi, this is Dr. Lisa Herman. How are you? I am wonderful. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Herman. I'd love to know. I was told you were very smart, very bright. So what do you know that we need to know? <laughs> well, thank you for having me here this morning. And, and what I'm here to talk to you about is, is pollution, which we know is a common problem. But now we have scientific evidence that really explains to us what this is doing to our skin. In particular, things like small particulate matter and ozone, what this is doing to our skin is it's causing pigmentation changes. It's causing breakdown of our collagen, premature aging in the terms of, of fine wrinkling. So now that we know this information, you know, we really have to take better protection and care of our skin and use appropriate products to do that. So it's not just about you know, sunscreen, which is obviously very important, but it's about using additional products to protect against, radi uh, to protect against pollution now. What type of products are we talking about? So we always start with, uh, with firstly, with, with a good cleanser, a very mild and gentle cleanser. And one of the companies I really like is La Roche-Posay, which makes this very interesting cleanser called Micellar Water, which is very uh, common in Europe, but was recently brought here by La Roche-Posay. It's got this technology, which has like little sponges, which help remove this particulate matter, but it maintains the integrity of the skin and the moisture balance of the skin while effectively cleansing it. And then once we effectively cleanse the skin, we have to always protect it. We protect with our sunscreens, which we all know is a daily habit we have to do. Good, strong UVA and UVB protection. And I personally like to recommend the Anthelios line because it's got great science and great research and has strong UVB and UVA protection. And then thirdly, you can add on top of that a preventive product like a good antioxidant. So SkinCeuticals, another company with great science and research, has antioxidants that help prevent free radical damage that also prevents these uh, premature signs of aging in the skin. If pollution is affecting our skin, what if you aren't wearing sunscreen in, screen in the summer? We wear sunscreen mostly, most of us in the, in the uh, I'm sorry, we wear it in the summertime but not in the winter. Right, because I, I don't think we all appreciate how much UV radiation there is all year round. People that ski, for example, don't realize how much uh, UV exposure they're getting at high altitudes during winter months when they're skiing, but sunscreen has to be a daily habit for all of us. That's shocking. That really <laughs> is. And, that, and that's news to a lot of people, including me. Yes. Let me ask you, you talked about the three things we need to add to our routine. Yes. What about men who don't use those things on their routine? Well, the nice thing is, again, one of my favorite lines to recommend is La Roche-Posay. They have such a great range of products and great technology. So there's mineral sunscreens, there's chemical sunscreens, and the formulations now are, are a very dry, smooth touch. So for men that don't like to use sunscreens because they tell you that they don't like the way they smell or the way they feel on their skin or they're greasy or they make them shine, these new technologies that make the skin matte and smooth, there's really no reason for people not to wear sunscreens every day. Well... Where do we go and find information that we should be wearing sunscreen every day? Because I'm thinking this is just a summertime thing. No. Well, there's great websites. All the companies that are sitting here before me, La Roche-Posay and SkinCeuticals and Head & Shoulders, all have websites. Skin Cancer Foundation has a website which tells you all about skin cancer and how you can protect yourself. But this is definitely widely available information, and each of these companies has very informative uh, websites with information. Okay. I've got to ask you, while I've got you, what about our children? And I'm talking about like little small kids who are like going to nursery school. We need to put all of this onto them, onto them also? Definitely. The recommendation from the American Academy of Dermatology is once they're six months of age, you can put sunscreens on them. So definitely sunscreen for everyone is a daily habit. Well, sunscreen, I can go along, but do we need to put the other three products you talked about? Um, well, sunscreen for sure every day, but then I don't want to forget to mention to you that the scalp is one of the, the neglected areas that we, that we forget and that these new pollution studies have talked about increase in itchiness and dryness, flakiness and dandruff, and that there's also new products for that as well. There's uh, a new uh, shampoo and conditioner by Head & Shoulders which protects the scalp and also nourishes it so that it protects against pollution. Okay. And what about people with eczema and psoriasis? I'm talking to doctors who say is there's like an uptick in the number of cases. Do we think that's related to pollution? We definitely do. In fact, these new studies have shown that increase in sensitivity, that pollution causes dehydration of the skin, which definitely makes eczema and psoriasis flare. It also causes increase in production of sebum, so the skin can get oilier and cause things like blackheads and, and um, exaggerate, exacerbations of acne. So certainly a whole host of problems that we are very familiar with as dermatologists. We now know and we have now have research are either you know created or exacerbated by pollution. This is 
it's not exciting, but it's interesting. Where do we go and find more information once again? Again, if you go on each of these companies' websites, SkinCeuticals.com, LaRochePasse.com, you can read more about this and about the products that are very effective in combating both UV radiation as well as pollution. I'm sure you and I will be having this conversation many more times. Well, so I hope please so. come back, Doctor. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Thank you for having me again. Okay.